Actually, before we go back to the first area, we can go back here and give uh, Selena her new shoes. That are just her size. Here you go. Excuse me. I thought you might like to have these shoes. Oh my. They're wonderful. Why, I've never seen such, such, such colorful shoes before. She looks. <laughs> and they fit. They fit perfectly. They're so comfortable. I can dance again. Oh, thank you, young man. Yeah, you can't dance barefoot, thank apparently. You. You're welcome. I couldn't tell if she was being sarcastic, like, oh my, like, I've never seen such colorful shoes. It, like, it, it sounded like she was trying hard to say something nice, but now she actually likes them. Now, can I get my free dance lesson? It's kind of Excuse important. Excuse me. Yes? Now can I use my dance lesson coupon? You mean may I, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Terrific! Right this way! Wow, just pulling us in. is really quite easy once you get the hang of it. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, you're doing very well. This is fine. <laughs> She's doing all the work. Well, I think that's about all the time we have. <laughs> what a ripoff! That was a free coupon and I still feel ripped off. That was like 10 seconds. Thank you. Don't you were, come again. That is exactly what you are, Pajama Sam. You are a dancing fool. And then she took our coupon! That did nothing! <laughs> what a rip. <laughs> Alright, I'm never going back there again. <laughs> I could use a ride again. Hop on! <laughs> now, thank goodness, Sprinkle's the best. Sprinkle just waits for us to come back to give us a water ride. She's the real winner. <laughs> that was a 10 second dance lesson! <laughs> and we didn't even dance, we just grabbed her arms and like stood on her feet and she danced. It was terrible. All right. Back to the main area. All right, let's go back to the, the A complex at the gourds. <laughs> I'm watching you private. <laughs> Maybe if we put the sack on our head, they won't even see us. To have a bag to carry stuff around in. All right. Actually, let's put on the pumpkin. Pumpkins are gourds, right? Um, look, a sweet potato. Where is that? <laughs> I don't see anybody. <laughs> I love their sweet potatoes that he said oh, that. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the A complex, Mr. Uh, uh, gourd. I'm gourd. Mr. Gourd. Very good. Oh yes, that's that's very good. Sam Gord wants to go through. I think I'll just go on in here now. Hold it, that's the Oh wait a minute. It's Gord's only, right? Yes, and he's a Gord. So I guess that means um That means we let him in. Ah. Thank you, just the gourd, hopping through. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh yeah, oh this is a giant telescope. This is really cool, actually. This is more cramped than the hall closet of our house. Yeah, ouch. Let's look through. Then I could see all the way around the world with this thing. All right. Hey, there's Chuck Cheddar in his balloon. Hey, he's got a five pound bag of sand that he needs. Uh, he already has five pounds and he needs 10 pounds in total. Well, anybody who caught my math journey let's play knows how to do math, so they know what how much sand is needed. We need 10 pounds and we have five pounds. What plus five is 10? Gotta use some addition and subtraction, folks. The answer is five. Five plus five is 10. We need five more pounds of sand. Look, a 40 foot marble. There. Are you sure? <laughs> You could have just left. You didn't. <laughs> Sam's literally just doing that to troll them. That's fantastic. Let's head back to the food pyramid and see uh, the delegates who we've saved, because they should be at the. Uh, they should be at the top now. <laughs> Let's ride that sweet salad bowl again. Hey, everybody's getting along. 
on. How's it going, Pierre? Ah, it is good to be here. Ah, oh, the lovely Florida. I think she gives me the eye in this book. <laughs> in your dreams, Romeo. You can see she has the great affection for me. Wow. If you say so. <laughs> Hello, 47. How are you? I am well, but I wish I could be back helping the rest of the beans. I'm sure you're helping them by being here. Yes, that is true. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone here know how to do a wave? We beans do it all the time. It's good for morale. Well, it never hurts to ask. <laughs> nobody knows how to do it, or nobody cares. Sam, my friend, did I ever tell you of my great romance with the famous Leticia Roman? Um... No. I leave the trail of breadcrumbs for her to follow me, but alas, the birds come instead. <laughs> Gee, that's too bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's that's kind of dark. My cummerbund is riding up again. Perhaps you should dress more casually next time. I think not. Well, he's literally the only person who's actually wearing clothes other than a hat, so... Will you explain to me why this conference is happening again? Well, it's basically because there have been a lot of disagreements between the food groups. Mostly between the sweets and everybody else. We have to talk about it and reach some kind of compromise. Or General Beatfoot is going to declare an all-out war. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. How's he doing? Mm, this conference, it is a few grapes shy of a bushel, no? Don't worry. Everyone will be here soon. I must tell you, Sam, once I meet the great Marlena Dietrich. She is very lovely, and she wears the clothes like Monsieur Wiggy Pig. That's Wiggle Big, if you don't mind. No, I do not mind. Wow. I wonder how the other beans are doing. We share everything, you know? I do not think so. No. All right, well, I don't think I've ever actually been back to the uh, the conference room to talk to the delegates that you save. So that was an interesting experience. When I do the second path with my sister, Marty, uh, I'll try to get talk to the other two when we save them. I feel ripped off. I'm getting another da dance coupon. I might need another one of these dance lesson coupons. And so we can actually dance. Let's just take all of them. It's not saying limit one per customer. We can literally take as many as we want. We can make our own free coupons. I guess. <laughs> how would how would you even make coupons in this world? Is there a printing press? All right. Well, back to this area. So one interesting thing you can do is, we need more bags of sand. Well, we've got a sand castle right here. Hey, the sand is kind of heavy. It must be wet sand. We can fill up this bag with it. Well, that's one scoop in the bag. Each scoop is one pound. That's two scoops in the bag. Let's just start with two sand scoops. Sand is heavy. Because you can put as many pounds as you want, so let's try, like, less pounds than what we need. Hey, Chuck Cheddar, what's up? Are you sure you don't want to just climb over here? I can't leave the balloon. It's government property, and I'm responsible. Oh, way to take responsibility, bro. Well, I've got a pumpkin. Let's hang the pumpkin on. Here, maybe this bag of sand will help get you unstuck. Ah, brilliant. Thank you. Well, it tied itself to the balloon. Nothing's happening. I guess it's too light. Yep. Here, take it and get some more sand. Oh, I thought it would stay down there and we would have to find another sack. I, I thought it would literally just be, okay, well now we have seven pounds, but we need ten. We still need the, like, full ten. And then we come back and then Zack Zucchini would have another bag on his head. Guess not. What if we make it too heavy? Will that actually crash the balloon? I've actually, I don't think I've ever tried that. So that's free bag. There are three. That's three pounds. I have... Four pounds. This is the fifth pound. Five scoops. What's that? We need ten pounds. If we add another six, we'll have eleven. Six. 
And if what Chuck Cheddar said is true, then this would crash the balloon. I actually, I want to see that happen. <laughs> yes, I'm kind of a terrible person. All right, let's go up here. Hey, Chuck Cheddar, this is totally the right amount of sand. You had the wrong amount last time. Maybe this will be the right amount of weight. All right, let's give her a whirl. Uh-oh. Well, it didn't send the whole thing down. Well, I guess that was a little too heavy. I'll go find it and try again. Thanks, Sam. All right, well, now we have to actually find the sack of sand. That's interesting. I don't even know where it would be. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> ah, here's my bag. Thank goodness it fell here and not in the actual, like, ravine down there. That would be terrible. All right, that was too much. Okay, Chuck Cheddar lied. He said the whole balloon would crash, but it's not. All right, let's remove one pound of sand. Hmm, I have five scoops left in the bag. And it's heavy. I guess that it's a little bit of a stretch to assume one scoop of a plastic shovel of sand is one pound. That's a little interesting. All right, this is fi a five pound bag. When added to his other five pounds, we will get the ten pounds we need. Here, maybe this will be the right amount of weight. All right, let's give her a whirl. It's working! Yay! Thanks, kid, you're a genius. I am off to the peace conference. Good luck! That's three down. Only one more to go. Sweet. That's like a that's a really cool puzzle, actually. <laughs> hey, I love how we get stuck in the cotton candy clouds with cotton candy being sticky. That actually makes a lot of sense. That's a cool puzzle to get him out of there. Man, this game has good music. Again, literally every Let's Play that I, I do, I'm like, man, the music in this game is really good. That's because I tend to like games that have really good music. Hey, we can go back and see Chuck Cheddar up here. Hey, bro! I hope we can get moving on this peace thing pretty soon. I've got a full schedule today. We'll start as soon as we can. Good, good. Can't start without Granny Smythe. How are we on time? I've got a little bungee jumping lined up for later. I'm sure you'll make it. <laughs> You're living a very exciting life there, Chuck Cheddar. So you might be wondering, like, how the heck are we going to save Granny Smythe? We haven't, we've explored everything, and all we have is, like, a dance coupon and then a pumpkin. And also the dance lessons haven't amounted to anything. Well, if we go back there, something may have changed. This is arguably one of the trickier puzzles to figure out in the game, I would say. Because, A, you have to put Nikki Hollandaise's note cards back in order, get his shoes, give them to the celery, before you can actually save Granny Smythe, which is interesting. Are you getting tired yet? Not even a little bit. P Soda Pop is still dancing. Couldn't you just stop long enough so that poor old lady can get out of here? Hey, dancing is a First Amendment right. We're not stopping. Yeah, but it's not your First Amendment right to harass an old lady. Don't you know shaking sodas up can make them explode? Yeah, yeah. Don't harsh my fizz, man. Maybe you should try a different dance. We can't. We don't know any other dances. That's the only clue you get. You gotta give... You have to give him the free dance lesson coupon. Here. Not you use like it yourself. coupon for a free dance lesson? Free? Great. Hey, there's a phone number at the bottom. I'll give him a call right now. Hello, I'm calling about free dance lessons. Oh, great. Well, there's a lot of us. It might be better if you came here. Stand back? <laughs> what are you... Yo! <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello! Wow! Great trick. Yeah! <laughs> my, my, we do have work to do. All right. Listen up, everyone. Grab a partner. We're going to learn to waltz. Now watch out. Do as we do. And do one, two... One, two, three. Good. And they get new music. Watch it. 
Watch it! Old lady coming through. Good heavens! I thought I was never going to get out of there. Young people have no respect these days. Except for you, of course, young man. Thanks. You really helped me by getting them. That is definitely the toughest puzzle in the game, I would say. A jam of sham always helps those in need. Like literally that puzzle. You, A, you have to give them the dance coupon, which is kind of unintuitive. The only hint you get is they're like, we don't know any of her dances. And also, how would you know that, like, there's a phone number on the coupon? I don't think it ever tells you that. So that's a bit of a stretch regardless. Oh, and I also forgot to give them the dance coupon before we save the shoes. If, if you try giving them the dance coupon before you've given her the new shoes, they're like, oh, she can't do it because apparently she like, lost her shoes or something. Well, it's not really good. that important. I'd love to stay and dance, but I've got to be off now. They'll need me at the peace conference. Goodbye and thank you. Bye. You're welcome, Grandma. I think that's all the delegates. I'd better get to the food pyramid myself to make sure everything goes okay. I'm telling you, meals should consist strictly of dairy products, for health reasons. But it is the breads which are the most healthy of foods. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Krusty here thinks he's healthier than I am. This cheese has gone rancid. I cannot negotiate with him. Uh-oh. You're both fools. The bean way is the only way. Nonsense! Fruits are the principal staple for meals and dessert. What do you know, you old crab apple? A lot more than you, you overgrown lump of mold. Please, let's not resort to name calling. Who made you the boss, you wilted weed? Flathead. Shrub. Entree. Loaf. Pabulum. Grub. Morsel. Gobbit. Tidbit. Stop! What's going on in here? I thought I heard shouting, Best Maze War! <laughs> he heard it no, from all the way down no, there. No, it doesn't. <laughs> You're all being silly fighting like this. If there's one thing I've learned since I've been here, it's that no food is an island. What? What are you talking about? You two are arguing about whether cheese or bread is better, but it takes cheese and bread to make a cheese sandwich which is maybe the most perfect food there is. And neither of you could do it without the other. Hmm. Say right. Hmm. Cheese sandwich. <laughs> and there's other stuff, too. What about peanut butter and jelly? Or macaroni and cheese? Or peaches and cream? Hmm. All the best things to eat are made by different kinds of food working together. And that's what you should all be doing. Instead of fighting, you can work together to create new and better things. New? Better? Sure. Like maybe an apple, broccoli, bean, cheese, and lollipop sandwich. The kids got a point. We have been most foolish. Put her there, partner. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Cooperation? Why this means... <laughs> means I'm... Um, <laughs> Peace, General. Peace. Exactly. In that case, I hereby officially and irrevocably declare... Peace. Hooray! Woo! Great speech, Sam. You really saved the day with that one. I'm glad I could help. Can you stick around to help us make plans for the future? Or have you got to get home for dinner? Dinner? Oh my gosh. I forgot. Uh-oh. <laughs> and that's Pajama Sam Free. Well, one of the paths you can take. <laughs> Sam rules. Oh yeah. Also, if you get all of the box tops, you get more photos in here than you normally would. I think there's free photos that are exclusive. That's one of the ones you only get for getting the box tops. I think that's another one. Maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> remember the plumber who was in it for two seconds and didn't play any role into the plot? He'll play a role in the plot in the other uh, main path. Oh, man. Tom Rutabaga, best character. <laughs> okay, that's definitely another one. <laughs> He's watching sad movies with the onion. That's great. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Pajama Sam Free is such a fantastic game. I, again, it's really hard for me to rank 
how much I love all the Pajama Sam games because they're all so good. I think one is my favorite, three is my second favorite, and two is my least favorite, but I still really like two. Two is great. But Pajama Sam 1 is just everything about it is so fantastic. Pajama Sam 3, though, like, it's a great example of, like, a sequel that's, like, just as good as all the other. Like, all the Pajama Sam games are basically equally good, which is truly fantastic. Love the world, I love the characters, I love all the puns, of course. And honestly, most of the puzzles in this game are pretty good. We're gonna see a lot more of the, like, really cool puzzles in the next path. I, fun fact, I basically asked Marty ahead of time, like, hey, because... For those of you who don't know, yes, I'm covering both of the main paths, and the second path I'm covering with my sister, so we'll both be talking, and those tend to be really, really entertaining. Make sure you tune in for those. But I, I basically asked my sister Marty before, and I'm like, hey, what path, what, like, delegate locations do you want to, like, commentate on? And she basically listed them, and I'm like, oh, those are literally all five of the options on the right side of the screen, because in this version, you, in this game, you can literally, like, plan the game in advance, be like, I want the delegates here, 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 and here. Which I think you could you could do that kind of for Pajama Sam 2 as well. And then literally Marty chose all of the ones on the right side of the screen for the select screen, which is pretty funny. Yeah, definitely tune in for next time. When me and my sister Marty get together for Humongous Entertainment Games, things get hilarious. So it'll, it'll probably be a lot more entertaining than it would us for this just my solo let's play. I generally try to, for the solo let's play, just cover the main parts of the game and explain the different mechanics, whereas me and my sister Marty tend to just have fun and goof around. Which tends to lead to some really funny uh, moments. So, I hope you guys tune in for that next time. Thank you so much for watching, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.